Well, holy cow, man. We are here at a Home Depot in California. And, of course, you know, they make us wear masks here. We had to show papers to get into the state first. Because it's turned into a Gestapo state here, you know. <laughs> and so it's like, where are you got papers? And I'm here with John from It. So I have a link to him down in the video description. Down in the uh, do It is his channel. You guys probably know him. You've seen him here many times. So John and I are here to attend the Vid Summit conference in LA this week. But let's take a look at what we've got over here. Hey, first of all, our normal Home Depot back home in Florida doesn't have these guys here, these internationals. You know, the multicolored ones, the orange and the green. So these are $4.49. These are not really on sale. I'm going to try to lift my mask up a bit while we're talking to uh, be able to hear clearer. You'll be able to hear me clearer. Because these big old masks, you really can't hear that much in there. And Daniel checked in first. What's up there, Alan? All right, so we still have the Ryobi display up here, which is interesting because this supposedly ended on the 26th, which is yesterday. If you look at the date right down there, see that? So all of these Ryobi buy more, save mores. It's iffy whether or not you're going to still get anything there. Hey, what's up there, Tammy? And Emmanuel. Okay, so... Whether or not these will scan in when you get up to the register is anybody's bet. And... We have the DeWalt Tough System 2.0. This is the medium box. These are $65. And let's see, when these first came out, I think they were 75 or something like that last year. When I got mine, I was like the first person to get it, so I had to pay the full amount. And now you got these little Stanleys, but, you know, these look too small for me. Because, you know, once you buy a box like this, you're going to want to put more and more tools into them. And this is probably ideal for somebody that just has a few tools that you want to bring in with you. Uh, the plastic does seem really kind of thin on it, however. And Alan says, yo, Jeff, anything going on in DeWalt world? Maybe the 999 drill driver. Well, we're going to be heading over down the DeWalt aisle in a second. And then we have these DeWalts. These are in 1997 right now. But remember, last Black Friday, these were um, 999 And I don't know how many of you were able to score that. But that was a heck of a score at that time to get those at that price. And then, uh, so for $9.97, you got the black and gold. It's only a 10-piece, but if you're just looking for a simple one, and those are the, the sizes that you use commonly, then that's a pretty good deal. This one I don't like, and I've showed you this before. So this one operates off your cigarette lighter. And we compare this one with the Milwaukee Top-Off and the Ryobi, uh, both other power inverters. Now, those other two run off the batteries. They run off the, the Ryobi battery and the Milwaukee battery, respectively. But this one plugs into the cigarette lighter, and we found that it, it did do a good job of charging just about anything we tried to charge with it. So, I mean, it will give you 120 if you need 120, but don't expect too much out of it. And Ted says, Jeff, can you put... $900 worth of tool in your cart and just find out. That's what they're doing in California. Huh? That would be a good thing to try there. Yep. And Mikey, Mike Leanne just checked in too. Cool. We can drive them the two batteries. We're going to check some of the Milwaukee's in a second when we get over there. Let me see if they've lowered the price on any of these guys. See, these are the same. And from what we've been told, you know, I get comments from people that here in L.A., they don't see a lot of the same deals that we're showing back home. So that's, that's kind of interesting that I'm seeing some of this in action firsthand here. Uh, all right, so now we get the three packs of the bimetal oscillating wood blades. You got Hawaii in the house. These guys. Hawaii is in the house. So these are $34.97. And yeah, they got these again, the sand discs. I use these a lot if I have to really rough, you know, sand down something rough. Yeah, we're in the Right there. 
And roll the R says, are you going to try the 10% off Lowe's coupon? Well, we're not going to be buying anything here because I have no <laughs> room in my <laughs> suitcase. And let's see. Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw Woodworks just checked in with us. Five dollar holler. Five dollar. Yes, I've been saying. Five dollar holler. I've been saying all the time. <laughs> Gave us a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. He says, "Show me the money or savings, you man." Thanks. Yeah. So we have the low profile pack out. This one here is thirty four ninety seven. It's down five dollars from thirty nine ninety seven. So. In case you guys have never seen one of these, you can see how they're about maybe an inch and a half. And it's got the gasket. See that? It's got the black gasket on there, so it's IP rated, probably IP65. Ted says hello. So Teddy. Hi, Ted. Teddy the man. So here's some of the DeWalt tools that uh, we were asking about. So here we got... What they basically did here was the smaller ones, we got $30 off. Now, I've showed you guys this before because this has been up for about maybe a month or so. Maybe even more, I don't know. And looks like Kent sent us a $5 super chat. And he says, here's something to help with the next giveaway. Love my Ryobi clip fan. Awesome. Yeah, we have, thanks so much for that. And we have, I think, six or seven more clip fans ready to give out in October. Did you guys see my finger there for a second? I'm doing events. I was doing events. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice with Vince? Yeah, Sometimes he'll go, he'll come up, he'll go, time. oh, this thing is uh, marked. <laughs> By the way, I live, uh, I live a couple towns over from Vince. Yes, so Johnny lives pretty close to him. So LA Troy says, where are you? What city? We're at the Home Depot in Inglewood, which is on La C is it La Cien? La, La, La Cienica. So we're basically about two miles from the airport because we're staying at the Sheridan by the airport. All right, so uh, you got the square sander is ninety nine dollars down from one thirty nine. We now, have a question. We have a question. So, what brand of router bits would you recommend from Prakash? For which? From Prakash. Um, so, what which brand of router bits would you recommend? What's that one that I bought that comes in the brown? Bosch. In the well, yeah, Bosch are good. Um, I think I think any of them will do the job. That kit, I forget that kit that we bought in the wooden box that comes at Lowe's at, at Christmas time. Um, I, I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. and it's got the window on it. I, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it, and I should remember the name of it because I bought it. All right, so this is the square sander, though. So, but you're getting thirty dollars off, and that's typically what they did. They went around the line here. The router here is thirty dollars off, okay, one sixty nine, and. I don't know if they did anything with the radio, or if it's just sitting here. Uh, this one here. Another moderator just checked Yeah, that's the router. Here you got the jigsaw is down 30 bucks right now. So right now in terms of the DeWalt, just your regular rank and file tools, there's your deal. Now you got the kit here. Here's your kit with the impact and the regular driver. The drill driver, and that is a. I don't think that one's the hammer, though. I think that's just the drill driver. But this is only, let's see, two forty nine from two ninety nine. But I have a feeling that come Black Friday, if you're willing to be a little more patient and just wait, you're going to start to see some really good deals, like we saw last Black Friday. You know. Really. So look at this. Um, he says, no joke, someone pulled a gun on an employee at that one one morning when I was there. Wow. Ah, so Ted says he talked with Hakeem earlier and he couldn't make it. Bummer. Okay, so we have these rigid. And, you know, don't ever buy them like this at, at this point. Wait till Black Friday when they usually go for 99 for the whole tower. Because right now, if you if you waited and did this now... This is 75 plus 40 plus 32 is how much you would pay for that, this entire tower. And so 99 at Black Friday, guys. That's what we usually see it for. Um, oh, there was the, I wanted to stop and do that Milwaukee. Uh, Tammy's asking if you're having a good day. We are having a great day so far, man. My two beagles says hello. 
So this is the light. So it, as you know, they're doing this deal here where if you buy any of those tools up on the left side of our poster, you get a free battery, and that's the five amp hour XC 5.0. So the battery alone is worth about 139. So that's a great time to buy this pack out light because I have not seen this on sale yet. I had to pay 199 for mine last year when it came out. See, so it's still 199. But if you can get it and then get that battery for free, you know, some people hack the battery and end up and they end, they they end up buying this for about 130 net. You know, so if you buy this, you get the free battery and then sell the battery back to them, you know, refund it back, and you're going to end up with about 130 total. So that's a good way to buy that. If you um, personally, I would just keep the battery because that's a great battery anyway. You know. And Spotum says if you need a bulletproof vest for Inglewood. You're a posse. <laughs> yeah. That is true. And Landshark says, Jeff, is that your date with you after you were in California? There's my date right there. You guys see his jacket too? So he's got a pretty cool jacket. He had this custom made for his channel. And that there it says, you do it. Here's, my sticker. There's a sticker that he gives <laughs> yeah, out. Come, I had a compliment. I thought I had this shirt. And he's got really the shirt cool. and everything. We have a gentleman here. He's a Mark. He's an actor. Really, man, that is really cool. Oh, yeah? It's custom made. It is custom made, yeah. Custom yeah look, made. He's got a nice shirt here, too. Look at this one. <laughs> Luke Salibre. Salibre. <laughs> Forever 21. They let me shop in Forever 21 and Fox Hills on Forever 68. And they let me shop in. <laughs> okay, let's get a selfie. Let, let, let me get in here, Jeff. All right. This yeah, is what yeah. happens when you're Hang on, we got to do a selfie real quick. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. <laughs> now, how, how, I just hate wearing the dang mask, that's all. Um, so you saw that with the Milwaukee. So, yeah, they were right. They don't really have a whole lot in terms of sales going on in here right now. Like we came down and we looked right here down the table saws, and there, there's like nothing. You know, as we look down, there's just nothing at all. And I'm going to come back around the back side and we'll see what they have on the miter saws or anything. And Shaka Gillis, our good friend, checked in and he says, Jeff, good day, Jeff. Ryobi tools are absolute trash. Well, wait a minute, they were just trash last week, but now they're absolute trash. Absolutely. All right, so let me see what we got on. This store is pretty, it's pretty well organized here in, in Inglewood. So you got all the railbies here, nothing here. We were coming around looking. And basically, look at this. The only yellow stickers we see are on some of the SDS components. See here? You get the dust extractor, which is probably this one here. Oh, that's, is that Bosch? Yeah, the dust extractor. And what a, there was another bit over here. So the adapter, nothing else too much. And I'm gonna walk down here and see what we have for the DeWalt's. And nothing on Milwaukee. So we must be here like in between setting up something because at least at my store back home before I left guys, we had plenty of stuff, didn't we? Right? Century Boulevard is the one I'm talking about. We're close to Century Boulevard here. We're not that far away from it. And we're right around the corner from Randy's Donuts, so we're going to there afterwards. That's that one with the big, famous, giant donut thing on top of the building. Um, none of these are, are discounted at all. Okay, so here's our miter saws. And we're going to see if we got anything. Yeah, so here's the one I have at home, the Flexi, the $7.99. This one, if you want to buy this one, you got to buy it smart. You don't buy it at $7.99. You wait till usually around Black Friday, the last two Christmases, what they did, they put it on sale for $6.99. And then you go to one of those coupon sites online and you buy the actual Home Depot 15% off coupon. It'll cost you $25 to buy that coupon. And it's a printout one. And you bring it in and you'll get 15% off. So if you were to buy it right now, 
you would get uh, let's see, eighty. You'd probably get about a hundred bucks off. But if you wait until it drops to six ninety nine and do it again, you'll end up walking out of here with this saw for about five hundred ninety five bucks or so. So there you go on that. Yeah, and Howie says he missed the deal at Tractor Supply yesterday. So Tractor Supply is supposed to be getting in um, Porter Cable. And I don't know, do you guys think like me that maybe Porter Cable's on its way out at Lowe's? They're definitely going through restructuring. Because I showed you in there those band saws. Yes, was it last time I was in there? The band saws and the big table drill press were being marked down tremendously over there. And Landshark says, Jeff, you can get up to $950 in free tools in California. That's what I need, man. Okay, so none of these others are marked down. I want to take a walk. Wait, let's see. we got one more end here. It's just got Ryobi. I was kind of looking to see if they had the, the fan. You know, the, any more of those little clip fans. Um, what you can try in your store if it, if they're not here with the Ryobi stuff anymore. In my store, they moved them over to the bathroom supply stuff, or you can try the other fan section. This light is okay; it's it's pretty decent. It's a little big, but I I prefer their smaller. Um, there's a little smaller one that looks similar to this that they come two in the pack, fifty bucks, which I got for free during the Ryobi days. So looking over here. You could try to see if they're here, and then if they're not here, you can check in the bathroom, um, like the supply area. I don't know why they would be there, but that's what they told me. Did you see that one? <clears throat> what? You could take up the $950. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they won't arrest me. That's what he was talking about. The police here, I don't know if you guys know this, the police will not even take a report unless it's 900 bucks. I don't know how they arbitrarily came up with that number. So probably you could like run out of here with nine hundred dollars of tools, and they'll never come after you. So here's uh, the mowing, the brand, no, band, I always call it brand brick. It's Banbury. So this is a brushed bronze. So they got these down to seventy-five dollars from ninety-nine. So that's essentially a twenty-five percent discount, which is pretty good because usually on the the bathroom sinks, the bathroom uh, faucets. We typically only see a discount of about 10 to 20 at the most. So to, to get one at that price is pretty good. Now, remember I told you guys that this is why I, this is one thing I don't recommend. So they get this towel bar and, and it's 25 bucks, right? And so I don't recommend getting them here when you can go to Costco right now. And for, I think it's either 25 or less. You get the whole kit that has the towel bar, the door hook, the toilet paper one, and I think a, uh, a thing for the hand towel. So check Costco first before, if you were in the market for looking for any of that. And then here's the Toro. This is the brushless trimmer. And I think we showed you this at our store. It was probably roughly the same price. It's down to 129 from 169 So it's sitting here on clearance. And if you look at the date, see the date right in the middle there? It says, july 13th so that's you kind of want to kind of look at these things and see well does that mean it's going to um start dropping a price soon so we don't know like when so anytime i come in you know there's always items i have my eye on here at the clearance counter here and i will just keep coming in and checking and seeing and i'll have an employee come by and scan it because i know that once they're on clearance they often don't even show up in the app at all. You won't even be able to get it to scan. And if you do, it might show either full price or the, not the right price. But that's why I let the employees scan it for me. And I hope, hopefully you guys are getting a good signal because we tried to connect to Wi-Fi and it wouldn't work. We're on the 5G network right now, but it just uh, wasn't giving us much help at all. So they have three different vanities here that they've gotten in the cheapest one i would not recommend getting even though i realize some people don't have the money but if you can avoid getting ones like this although it is somewhat functional because they have that functioning drawer there at the bottom see that but let me show you like the rest of it how it's built remember i showed you before 
you got these plastic brackets in the back. So you get those. And then if you look at the side of the drawers here, let me show you. First of all, so you hear that? It, there's no soft close. You got the two staples or whatever holding it to the drawers together. And this is the really cheap plasticky stuff that when it pe when it gets moist, it starts to peel. And you can see the glue right there. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. And I always tell people to try to avoid all these particle board cabinets at all costs. Now, the second one here looks much nicer. You got this, the angled opening that's all wood there. You got soft clothes on the doors. Justin's watching. He said he just saw my Vanna White skills. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. He's our friend from uh, Channel Jumpstart. So, yeah, we got uh, the shelf here. This one goes around the P-trap, which is a nice deal to have. And then we got soft clothes. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you again, <laughs> Vanna. <laughs> so this one is 186 So for $20 more, man, that's what you do. You get a, a much better one. This one's all wood. And um, that one is too. But look at the difference. Let me show you something that, that can be critical for you if you ever have a flood. See how this one's standing up on four legs? This one, the sides are touching the floor, and that's particle board. If you ever have, have a spill, you're going to start getting this thing expanding and soaking up water, and that's going to be the beginning of the end for your vanity, folks. And so that's the problem with those. So that's something to think about, too. And this one, I like that drawer there. Look at that. So that makes real good use of fitting around the sink. In California, you can put your weed in there. You can put your weed in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I guess it's legal here now to have pot and stuff. So I'm waiting outside the hotel yesterday. And these dudes are outside smoking weed, and it was the nastiest, ranciest smelling weed in history, man. It's, it smelled like a skunk. And I'm like, dude, that must be like Section 8 government subsidized weed or something, because it was awful. All right, so... This one is 209. See that? All right, so now we want to go check the OPE real quick. And yeah, see, what have we got here? Something from Ryobi. Well, they only took 10 bucks off, so this is their little hybrid LED color range work light. So you can actually adjust the color on this one to be a little bit warm, warm yellowish all the way to completely bright white blue. So this one is being marked down to 59 from 69. And let's see, Tammy says at my Home Depot, that is the same thing that is happening. Yeah. And scrolling by. So it's a busy day here. So yeah, this Home Depot, we're gonna come right here onto this OPE aisle and see if we got anything decent. <clears throat> oh, that's not it. It's the next one. The next one. So here, and I think we showed you this at our Home Depot. You got $50 off on the Ryobi from $399 down to $349. This is the 21-inch cordless. And I'm assuming this one is self-propelled. You want to make sure on that. And 70 minutes of runtime. Now, the older one, the one that you guys saw me buy on clearance back in May for like 129, I can only squeak about 45 minutes out of out of that. Uh, I think it's a six and a half, seven amp hour battery. I forget. But the um, and it, it's enough to do my yard. But when I took it over to do my friend's yard, it wouldn't do his entire yard. And so you want to make sure you get a second battery. Now here they're 179 to get that battery because that's the one you want, the 6 amp hour. I'm not sure I would recommend getting a 4 amp hour battery even though these are cheaper, you know. Um, it's really up to you. And it depends on the architecture of your lawnmower because the one we have holds two batteries but only one of the batteries will power the unit. The other one is a fake... Uh, I guess you could call it just a battery storage thing, is, is really all it is, so, which is kind of strange there. 
Hey, and John commented too. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw John just left a comment. So that's probably a first in a live stream that the person you're with actually left a comment. So I got nothing here. Yeah, these guys are right. It's like they're not showing deals at all really here at, at Home Depot. This was that other Ryobi power inverter I told you about that that we compared it with the um, the DeWalt. Now this one works, I think, just as good as the Milwaukee. They both did very well. And it also charges your phone as well. And there's an LED um, somewhere on here on the, on the front of it. This works out really nice too. And it gives you the inverter, of course, your 120 volts right there. And let's see what else we got here. You know, at least this store has them all lined up nicely and everything's very well lit. My yeah, store is... The manager here does a great job. Yeah, everything in my store, it's just like all dark, you know. All right, so what have we got here? Nothing on sale from Milwaukee, nothing on sale from Makita. So I would check like online if you're looking for something. Sometimes we don't see it in the store, but then like a couple of days later, it'll hit like a special buy of the day online on Home Depot's website. So it looks like we're in that lull, kind of waiting for the Black Friday deals to kick in. And let's see if we got any on this side. <clears throat> Not in there. Um, I can tell you this, I was at Costco today and, and we noticed that the Mobile One is on sale again. That's <clears throat> $10 off. Okay, so this one, here's the Honda. The self-propelled 21 inch this one that's pretty good because to get a Honda on sale is very rare here Paul from Newport Ritchie what do you think of free works did you mean green works we have the one that they sell at Costco I, I, I think that's what you meant right Paul because uh, I have their blower and I love it that the 720 CFM and they have a they have a Greenworks blower on sale right now at Costco that comes with two 80 volt batteries and the charger, and that whole thing is like uh, <clears throat> I think it was 229. It was a great price because you got to figure those batteries are at least 150 bucks each. And oh, the Works Pegasus is on sale. Mike Land just said the the Works Pegasus table. Is over is on sale over at Lowe's. We'll have to check that out. Um, usually that one's an expensive table. That one's always like a, over a hundred bucks. Okay, so now here you have the Milwaukee Buy More Save More on all of these outdoor power equipment. And right now this is pretty much the only game in town for saving any money on the Milwaukee OPE. Uh, but the ba basically the way it works, and it really pays off the most if you're gonna buy. 600 bucks or so worth of stuff so there there's the chart so you if you buy 600 or more you're gonna get 200 back so let me set the zoom back again hang on yeah things are shaking it a little bit too much i'm sorry it's really hard to do all of this with the masks again and holding the mask and and trying to hold the phone and do everything else but you can see that if you're willing to spend 600 you'll get 200 back so that's that's probably the the uh well you know it's it's an instant save is how it works so that's how all that works at the present time there and let's see what else we got here anything like how many of us are makita fans now because of tractor supply yeah right <laughs> my first row was makita that thing worked forever i even no. fell in the pool and it still works <laughs> None of the grills are on sale. And then even, look, this store even here has a pitiful little Halloween section. The ones near us are like, it would be this entire area all the way over here, just completely all done up. So that's what these guys have. And then I see a, um, a little Ryobi Instac over here. Let's take a look at what they've got. Shaka's favorite tools right here. <clears throat> just for him. Yeah, so they took $10 off the fan blower. It's not like you're going to Disneyland on the savings here. But this is it here. Runs off 40 volt. This one's probably a pretty good one. I have their first generation one that I bought years ago. It's just a little, I don't even use it anymore now that I bought the DeWalt and then the Greenworks 
after that one. Okay. And PT of the Rump says, I've been to Makita since the seven and a quarter saw with three batteries. Yeah, there you go. He got four hits last night. Wow. That was over a tractor? Tractor supply? Is that where they did it? Tractor supply? Yeah. The Makita thing? All right, and then uh, the fan, the axle fan. This is a smaller one. Well, it does say 525 CFM, so it's probably not too bad. Yeah. I don't know how it compares to the other one. Uh, I think this is way overpriced right here. So here they've got the one, this is a 40 volt. You got two batteries and a charger. A $299, I think, I mean, it's decent, but why would you pay that when you can go to Costco right now and get that Greenworks 80 volt one that does, uh, it's $229 there, and it has the same rating, basically, 730 CFM. So that's the deal I was doing. playing with some common core math. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, so I think we pretty much got all of everything we were going to cover here. I want to see if they got any deals on fans. Because, you know, they we hardly ever get to come down the fan aisle. Ricardo. Ricardo. I think he's from Brazil, if I'm not mistaken. Ricardo. Ah, uh, let's see. Nothing. Man, they were right. When these guys said that they don't get much here in L.A., they were right. I don't know if it's this one store or some of the other stores in LA are better but yeah it's like I don't see a single fan on sale here right now so we're in a really dry spot here waiting for the next wave of, of stuff to come on sale here all right so thank you so much guys for tuning in with us today and hang on a second I want to flip it around here oh, I don't know what to do that uh, flip this around. So there's Jeff and John. What up? Oh yeah, we got this. What up, dudes? Yeah. So in in California, what we had to do, we had to fill out a form to come into the state. We got to take a COVID test tomorrow for the convention that we're going to. It's like holy cow. Where are your papers? We're turning into a Nazi state here. Where are your papers? So thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And. We will see you guys on the There's, There's a, a live stream of the live stream going on right there. <laughs> so if we can get to a Lowe's, we're going to try that too sometime in the next couple of days. And we'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great productive day and a great safe week. And we'll see you all later on. Bye.